folks, hope you're well, Andy here, and welcome back to the workshop. Um, we've got a bit of a project going on, because uh, we're building an arrow boat from start to finish. So, we've done some modifications in this workshop, because uh, on the old, on the photos I've been showing the videos on, we had a wall in it, where that steel is across, the top of the steel is still there, so that was in the workshop. And that was the room we used for painting behind in the joiner shop. So we've extended this through now. It is from where, where you are here to that last sleeper. Is, that is roughly 40 foot. And we're building a 40 foot long narrow boat. And it's two metres wide. So a foot less than uh, each end of these uh, sleepers. So that's what we've been doing, getting ready for that. So we've got some plans, unbelievably, uh, £6.50's worth from eBay. But we've checked them all out and they are okay. So they're old plans because they're in uh, imperial measurements uh, with uh, metric measurements in little brackets. But uh, anyway, the proper drawn plans and um, they all work. Uh, we've had a look at them and checked them, so everything's fine. And Dave, who's uh, working with us, doing it, he's built about a dozen in the past, and he's happy with them. He's a, you know, uh, you know, lots of experience <laughs> fabrication and fabricating all sorts of small, so we're good to go. So we played the, um, the sleepers down ready for the plate that's coming tomorrow. Uh, luckily, the base plate with no joints in it. We've got a long enough piece of steel, same way they say, two metres wide, and uh, enough, long enough for the 40 foot boat, so there's no messing about welding on the base plates, which is great, the seamless base plate. So, uh, then we'll be, the base plate will go down, we marked out the sides will go on and out of the gunnels and uh, they're just straight they're being formed at another shop so they're coming all folded and uh, just line them up down the sides and then uh, the pointy end and the, and the blunt end we've got to form those into the shapes so I think the we're getting them partly rolled on the back, so they're pre-rolled, take the stress out of them, and then we can just pull them round the, uh, around this flat steel, down the plate, so uh, there's not any problems really. They're simple enough structures, not a lot to them, you know, they've done plenty of fabrication of big steel, you know, they not cost a lot of money, so quite experienced fabricators, so there's not a lot to these narrow boats, I don't think. Uh, we'll see, I may be kidding myself there, but uh, I'm in good hands with Dave, because he's done, like I say, he's done quite a few. So, we'll be doing that on the steel work, once the steel work's on, uh, we're just sourcing engine at the 8 horsepower or something like that. Uh, well, I can tell, looking at some uh, information on the internet, that suggesting motors for, for length, for the size of the boat. And uh, once that's done, We've got the motor, that's the engine in. Uh, we'll we'll uh, line it out on the side, foam it, well, Fox not foam it, uh, board it, sell a text or something. Uh, and then uh, I'll, I'll do all the internal uh, woodwork and fit out. We can make everything here in the workshop. So we'll show all that being done. And then. Um, what else is there? Obviously, all oh, windows in, so, you know, etc. And I'm uh, looking forward to it. It'll be a good project to do, and uh, something looking at doing. So it's the uh, first one for this, uh, for me anyway. I think thirteenth one for Dave. So it's uh, going to be a good one to watch if you're interested in that type of thing. And. Uh, can learn together exactly how it's done, <laughs> how it all goes together. I know there's one or two uh, vlogs on uh, now about sort of being made, but I thought I'd show it quite in 
quite an in-depth uh, vlog. Um, you know, uh, so you can see actually see it grow, and uh, you know, without too many breaks, you see exactly what's going on. So I'll not make them too long to bore everybody to death, hopefully. So we'll see anyway about that how things go on, and if uh, if you think. Uh, and I put them on if they're not uh, right, as in uh, they're too long or they're not long enough, or you'd like to see some other bits and bobs being done, then uh, I'm sure we can accommodate that and uh, make it as interesting for everybody as possible. So, anyway, steel's coming tomorrow, so the next one there's be some steel in here, only I'm working away at the moment, uh, so I'll get some photos and what have you of it. Of it. But, uh, I'm going to be away for the next couple of weeks still because I'm uh, on the job. So, anyway, let's get on with it. So, anyway, see you soon. I hope you like it. Bye. Hi, folks. Um, just thought to show you what we got, the plans wise. So, this is your £6.50 eBay plans, which are I think, still available on eBay, should you wish to have a go. But uh, this is what you get. I'll just show you. Pinter, you just get them emailed through, you don't get, uh, well you can get a disc with them on, but I just got them emailed through and I uh, just printed them off uh, A3 side, I'll well. show you what you get, maybe 20 pages, something like that, with the details on for the uh, superstructure of the boat and the bulkheads and everything, like stern details on that one, stern section details with the fuel tank, That's your generation of the ellipses for the counter floors. So, uh, what we got here? Four plate and skeg, trad and cruiser, that. Because the both ends are the same, the distance in between is whatever, just to make up your length of the belt, that's always the same. So, just folded plate. So, some finishing details, what you want for your rubbing straights, etc. Cabin side and roof, handrails, because you can put handrails on the top. Uh, there's just two stern details, trad and cruiser. So that's your trad and that's your cruiser. But uh, these are just details, you can put them where you want within reason. And therefore, if you want uh, your cabin sides to come above the roof and have uh, it enclosed. Cabin bolt of fuel tank details. Yeah, that's a water tank detail if you want to have a st use your boat, the actual uh, steel of the boat as a water tank, which we're not going to do. Uh, it's just general arrangement showing you the cruiser stern and the trad stern. Stern section. So. That's, just, that's uh, the view from the back of the boat, stern section, before you, you either got it, your doors cut out either in the middle or to one side. There's all the details for the curves which we've done, we've been cutting out the ellipses etc. There's some more detail there for the uh, bow plates. That's your rudder guide and tiller. And, uh, etc. That's your folding details for the side plates, uh, for the midsections, they're all, you know, all the same, just a different length. Then you on the bow, bow section arrangement. So, you've got everything there uh, measured out. Uh, you know, the, the work, workable plans, you know, there's probably been loads of boats made to these. I don't know under what name they were sold, but they're certainly good plans. Everything's there you want, your window details, but all this is down to preference, what you want to do with it really. Tail seal water tank details there. Holding tank, uh, oh, that's for the uh, toilet, I think uh, drop through toilet, we'll not be having that. Stern details. Engine bed details, so yeah, shows you, basically it's a frame you put on the bottom, 
to uh, mount the engine on. And then uh, your weed hatch details. So, you know, all this shows you these details that obviously they're probably different for each, you know, well, they will be different for the different engines you can use. Anyway, that's your set of plans you get. And uh, that is a full set of joints to build an arrow boat. Now, the cruiser stern or trad stern. Uh, trad stern, yeah. And uh, we're on with it anyway. So, the uh, we got some steel, and Dave's been cutting green, the sections out this week. He's generated all the ellipses, etc. He's cut those out. Uh, we're just waiting for the for the actual base plate, which is now coming Monday, which is like 40 foot long. As I said, there's no. We don't have to do any joining of plates on the base plate. It's a full length base plate, which is brilliant. You don't got to weld it up into from, uh, you know, two sheets of steel or three sheets of steel or whatever. We've got it all in one length, but it's coming from a different supplier and there's a couple of weeks uh, um, ordering on it like. So anyway, pleased with that. So it saves a lot of work welding all that lot up. So from Monday and then uh, I think later next week, we're going to get the folded sides from the uh, company who's doing all that. So we'll just have a look at what we have cut out and that's as far as we've got at the moment. Right, so here we have the uh, remnants really. These are the off cuts. Six milli plate and some more in there. They're the off cuts from uh, these, uh, yeah, from the bow details I think, from the two bow plates there. And then some another curved plate there. I'm not sure what it's all is because Dave's cut them out. So that's them. We've got those plates cut. Don't look much like a boat yet, but it shouldn't be too long. <laughs> and then over here, oh, it's the one inch uh, box section. So he's, uh, he's formed those, curved those for the roof. They go on the other side of the, of the roof plate. So that stiffens all that lot up, stops your, um, your roof plate sagging when you walk on it. And they're curved, so it's formed those. Off cuts of angles there. Oh, We've got some more plates cut down here. They've all been uh, um, taken off the joint of angles. Cut out. So, so They've all been cut to length and they attach to the base plate. When the base plate's on these, when the base plate's on these uh, timbers laid out flat, then they are welded on in that position, as you'll know, as you'll know on a boat, and then your floor goes on that. And the, the corners are notched off here to uh, so they don't seal the base of the boat up. So any if any water gets in, then you have got a flow from one end to the other. So that's why these are all chopped off on the corners. And uh, that's it. Oh, there's his trammels for marking out the ellipses and curves, etc. And uh, what we got here? Some more one inch box section, that's all for the boat. And some more um, three inch there, angle iron, that's all part of the boat. So most of that steel there is all going in the boat. And uh, here we are, this pile here, there's some bits in between which is cut out. That's the big MIG set, which will be used for welding this lot up. And uh, there's a steel cold saw there for chopping the steel off. We've got another MIG set at the back, a little one, MIG stick set. That's the grill I'm doing, a Perilla grill, South American grill, which is uh, I'm making for somebody who uh, retires this month actually. And that's our little heater. 
which we can burn the uh, wood from the workshop, from the joiner's shop. That goes in there and puts out a fair bit of heat. Works very well. So, and uh, that's a view back through the the uh, roller doors into the workshop. So. <coughs> Right, anyway, it's about half past two Saturday afternoon and uh, I've been in for a few hours. I've been working away all week again at Leeds, same as next week again. And uh, next time I'm down here, there'll be a base plate down and uh, it'll be looking like something. So, anyway, I'm off now. I'll see you soon. Ta -ra.